In this video, I'm going to tell you how you can concatenate your first name and last name. I mean, if you have to combine your first name and last name in the Zoho CRM custom module, then how you can actually do that, okay? So here, I have already created a custom module here, okay, that collects the data based on my requirements. So in this data, this is the actual name field which will be used across the multiple areas in the Zoho CRM, okay? So I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to create a new record here, okay? So here is the new record. So in the quotation name, I'm not going to enter the full name. I'm just going to enter my name. Okay, so I'm just going to enter these few details here and I'm going to save it. And here we are. Okay, for now you can see that there is only one name. Okay, there is no last name added in this record. Okay, so I'm going to add a function here. If I click on this setting icon here, then it pulls me to the automation, customization channel, user control, and a lot of things. Okay, so what I do is I click on the workflow rules. And in the workflow rules, I click on create rules. And I select that custom module here. So this is the custom module where I have to implement the function. So I click in there. I give it a name. Full name. And then we have to select an action when and where it has to be executed. Okay, so I click on on a record action. So I click in this and then this second feature create or edit. Okay, so I click in this and then this checkbox has to be selected. Repeat this workflow whenever a CRM code is edited. So I click in this and then we have to click next. Okay. So in the second step where the condition has to be applied, so the conditions would be which quotation would you like to apply this rule to? So we want this function to work for all the rules, all the uh, all the leads that are going to be inserted here. So I'm going to select this one, all quotation, and then we have to click next. And thereafter, in the instant actions, we have to click on the function. Okay, so we click on function. And once we click on function, then uh, there are three options, gallery, functions, and write your own function. So I have to write down my own function. So I click in this, and then we have to give it a unique title. So I'm going to give it a name. OK. OK, here we are. And now this is the area where we have to write down the function. So I'm just going to paste a few codes here, OK? OK, here we are. So you can see these areas, this one, this one, this one, and this one, and this one too, OK? But the, these are not going to change. So where we have what we have to add here in the module name. Okay, so in the module name, we have to give the API name of the custom module that we had created. Okay, so I'm gonna open uh, the CRM field in a new tab. Okay, so my model name API name is Codeson. Okay, so I'm going to change model name to Codeson. And then my first name field is same as it is here. And the last name is same as well. Okay, and the name is same as well. Okay, so 
all the function is already created here. And then we had to click on edit arguments. So I click in this and then I had to write down ID here like this. And then we have to select the quotation, CRM quotation ID here from the from this drop down. Okay, so this is the quotation field uh, ID field that we have to select. So I'm gonna select it, and then we have to click on save. Okay, so the ID has been assigned as well because the uh, the function will work based on the ID. Okay, so where to get the ID? So first we have to save it. Okay, here we are, but if we have to execute the function, then I'm going to show you one thing. For now, I'm just saving it, saving this function. Okay, and if I click on the quotation here, then we can see that the name is, is still on single name here in the quotation name. Okay, but we want to display like uh, quotation owner just like this. Okay, I mean the first name and the last name. So what we have to do is we had to click over here. And this is the ID of this particular uh, lead here. Okay, so I'm going to copy this ID and then go back to the workflow again and uh, click on that particular function. And then we had to edit the function again. And uh, this process that I'm actually doing here, you don't have to do it again and again. Okay, you can do the same thing that I'm going to do now in the start when you are writing down the function and saving it okay so when you finish writing down the function you can simply click on this one okay save and execute and when you click on save and execute then this pop-up window appears so what you have to do is you have to copy an id of a record from your crm okay and then just paste the id here and click on save okay once you click on save then you will get a console message here function executed successfully okay it means the function worked on that uh, lead id which you just provided in the pop-up window okay so it means it's working perfectly so i'm going to close it and i'm going back to the quotation and let's see if it actually changed the name to full name and here you are you can see the magic previously it was only mahas but this time it's mahas kumar so it means function is working perfectly okay so now this function is fully working and whenever a new lead is inserted in this custom module then your name will be converted from single name to full name like first name and last name together okay so this is the whole process how it's gonna work i hope you enjoyed the video give it a like and thumbs up thank you